Let's take a look at the useful tool Java P, which ships with Java. So what I've got here is a do class, and let's compile the class with Java C. So now it's compiled, I have a .class file, and now I can look into the class file with the Java P tool. So with Java P, uh, duke.class, and what I should see, what's inside, and we can see that the uh, class has a field, has a constructor, which is not available here, it's the default constructor, and a method which returns a string. So I can also take a look at the control flow with uh, minus C, and this will disassemble the bytecode, and uh, duke.class, and with that, um, I can get an idea what actually happens behind the scenes. Uh, we see that uh, the message returns something, a string here, field message, and we have declared here a field message. So now, and with minus V, we see some additional information, like, for instance, the uh, Java class version, which is at the beginning. The um, This is here. So we have the minor version, major version, Java 25, and when the class was compiled or last modified. 